but it was definitely not the best way to start out the day. So here's what happened. I ended up having to go to costume this morning for work just to drop off my stuff and to get a new set for work today. And unfortunately, when I got off the bus, I was wearing my like track, like gym type clothes, and my ID decided to pop out. So I lost my ID, my ID holder, as well as the little clip that comes with it, and then my bus pass. So, yeah, I was not happy. I mean, you can't get in, you can't get into the park. You can't really do anything. You're pretty much locked out. So. I had to go to security, I had to call scheduling, luckily my schedulers are awesome, they were able to get me in within 10 minutes, but regardless, I still had to wait, and I had a new ID issued, my old one has been cancelled, and I have to talk to commuter assistants about getting a new bus pass, so hopefully the bus guy that I'm going to see right now is nice enough to let me on the bus, because otherwise I'm going to have to walk home, uh, I hope that's not the case, but anyway, it's been a very interesting morning because of that, I'm going to try to get home, try to get things organized, Try to get everything together, and just suck up and go to work, and pretend like this never happened. So that didn't go as bad as it could have gone. I was able to get a new ID, security, I was able to get a hold of scheduling, everything worked out. But as a special note to all of you, make sure you keep track of all your stuff. Even if you're super responsible, double check to make sure you have everything anyway because I never thought I would be in this situation. I've always been good with keeping track of this stuff since I've been here and I still managed to lose my ID and you can technically get talked to with management if you do that, so it happens occasionally, it's no big deal, but try not to make a habit of losing your name tags, your IDs, anything like that, because that is a liability for the company and you need to make sure that you have your act together. And it's also just personal responsibility, so that's the main thing. But unfortunately, it's not all fixed. I lost my bus pass. It's expensive to ride the bus if you don't have a pass, and unfortunately, Despite having that pass, I can't prove it. So I have to pay for bus fare if I want to use the bus. So I'm going to have to put money out of my own pocket to take care of that. And at this point, I'm like, I really don't want to be spending two bucks a ride just to get to work and back. It's not that far of a walk, but still far of enough a walk when you have an eight hour shift that you don't want to walk. But I'm going to go ahead and endure for the next couple days until I hear back and hopefully they find my stuff that I left on the bus. If they don't, hopefully I can get a hold of Disney Commuter Assistance, which is the program that sponsors this bus pass, and maybe get a replacement. So here's the crossing my fingers, but it looks like I'm going to be walking to and from work today. Thanks to the power of awesomeness, I am not walking to work. Uh, one of my friends, she signed up for the same thing I did to get the bus pass, and she doesn't use it because she drives, so thank God. I'm able to use that and I'm going to go ahead and try to contact them and get my own pass um, figured out and switched up. So today it didn't turn out as bad as it could have been, but it was an interesting start. And now I get to go to work and hopefully get off a little bit early so I can go home and sleep because I do closing and then I immediately show up for opening tomorrow. So I'm hoping I can kind of balance that out. And yeah, so here's to another day of work.